Good Monday morning. It is May 19th. It is my birthday. So far, not looking good. <laughs> Woke up, Brody peed in my bed. <laughs> so I gotta wash my sheets and comforter again. Uh, got the twins up for school. They're having a um, park day, so they're pretty excited about that. Um, I got online. And the only person to tell me happy birthday was my mother. No one else. No text messages. No nothing. No emails. <laughs> and I have a house full of dirtiness that is just waiting for me to clean up. So, I'm starting my day off by making me some pancakes. So maybe I'll feel a little bit better. And that's about it. So here's my breakfast. Just regular pancakes uh, with whipped topping and bananas. I'm out of strawberries, so. But this will do. Kind of made it a little fancy because I'm kind of feeling down on my birthday. I better pick up today, I tell you. I better, like, have a million birthday wishes or something. <laughs> or this will be the last year I celebrate holidays. Literally. I will not write them on the calendar. I will not celebrate them. Nothing. Bitter, but every year it's like, it's like nobody remembers it's my birthday. And I'm not one that goes around and I'm like, oh, it's my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. So I just go like that, but I write it on the calendar. Even Facebook has a thing where it's like, you know, upcoming birthdays. So, yeah, I mean, and people have my number, so what's the excuse? Seriously. My Riley's up and he seems to be enjoying his uh pancake and banana. Is it good, baby? Huh? You watching your Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Licking yeah. all the cool whip off his fingers. Yeah, he slept in uh kinda late today. He usually gets up when the twins go to school, but he actually slept in a little bit. Were you tired? He was pretty cranky yeah. yesterday. What, you want more? Well, eat that little bit, and then you can have some more. He's got Cool Whip all on his tray right there. Is it good? I, d I made him a little bit different. Um, I put a little bit of um, the syrup in the mixture before I cooked it. Uh, I was trying something. <laughs> Is it good? You want some more? All right, hold on. <laughs> Imagine dozing off and all of a sudden you hear that. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so if he didn't have it on the arm of the couch, he was hiding over there behind it. So I didn't know what it was. All I could hear was just the breathing. <laughs> so it is lunchtime. It's 12 21. And. I cleaned up around the house a little bit. I took all the dishes. Um, I need to put them away once they're dry. Um, I cleaned off the top of my fridge and I moved it because we had all those bags up there and I was just tired of seeing all that clutter. So anyways, I uh, repurposed that. I washed that up. If you guys remember, Brady was pretending to take a bath in it. So I washed that up and cleaned that all up and I have the kids uh, chips up there that they take for like snack. And then I put a jar because I hate those little bags of chips. They just like fall over. Anyway, so I put the remaining chips in that jar. And then the cereal because we get the bag cereal because it just makes more sense because I have four kids. Um, I put the remaining um, cereal in that little pour spout thing. So Brody is having noodles again. Him and Dale, I swear. I am having um, the leftover Philly cheesesteak uh, sandwich. I think it's done. And my Riley man over there is having some vainas with some barbecue chips. So that's what we're having. So I've been cleaning up a little bit. Um, a few more people have told me happy birthday, so my day's looking up. Um, my dad called and told me happy birthday, and we talked for about an hour. So day's definitely looking up. Um, checked my YouTube, and of course there's this hater that has been on there 
And I'm, I'm not even going to give this person... I, I'm just... Ugh. All I can say to this hater is... <laughs> seriously. Let me tell you how easy it is. If you don't like my videos, okay? Let me tell you, okay? So, come closer, okay? At the top of the page, there is an X. There's a button, okay? It's, it's a red X. Click it. It closes the page. Simple as that. If you don't like my vlogs, stop watching them. Simple as that. Okay? Now, back to reality. Anyways, so, uh, I asked Brody, I asked Brody, I asked Brody, I asked Brody what he thought I should make for my birthday dinner. I usually do, like, steak or uh, fried chicken. I don't know. I think it's because my mom used to make that for me. But um, I used to make that, but this year, um, I really didn't know what I was going to make. So I asked Bertie, and he said that I should make some Mexican food. So I've been wanting to try these um, nacho meatballs. So I think I'm going to go with a Mexican theme for my dinner. So I think I'm going to make some Mexican meatballs. So, yeah. Just, I don't know, it kind of fits. It's kind of different, you know. It's like, why not try something different? So I think that's what okay, we're My lunch is looking so good. I have to show you guys. Okay, if you have not tried these uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, you must. I mean, look, oh my gosh, see how nice and gooey that cheese is. Mmm, look how good. And those peppers, oh my goodness, it is so good. So if you guys have not tried that yet, you must give this sandwich a try. Having some barbecue chips, which I've not had in forever, but they are good. It really hits the spot. So this is my birthday lunch. How's yours? Good. Good? How's yours? That's good. It's bad. <gasps> Ew, get your finger out of your nose. Oh, he's trying to do thumbs up. I don't think he knows how to do that just yet. Oh, uh, okay. Good job. Call it. Oh, 
Well, Mom's doing. Trying to figure out what to do with Sophia. Trying to figure out what to do with her two or three years. Say go, Mom! <laughs> Okay. Alright, so I've rolled out all my meatballs, as y'all can see. Um, I just put the basic Mexican seasonings in. I put the paprika, the cayenne pepper, the garlic powder, salt, uh, cumin. <laughs> I could not think. Um, so the basic um, for all my Mexican dishes. So I just rolled them out into balls. I'm going to put them in the broiler um, and cook them until um, they're done, basically. And then I'll show you guys what I put on them. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my tortillas. Because, well, it's not like we're having meatballs for um, spaghetti. And we're not really having them as appetizers. We're going to have them as dinner. So I don't know if I want to, like, fry these up like chips. Or what exactly? Or if I just want to leave them? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing exactly with these. So, yeah. I don't know. Might just wait until Dell pops home and then ask him what he thinks I should do with them. But, um, I have my pinto beans back here uh, simmering. I'm going to mash those up. I've put just some salt and pepper and a little bit of cayenne pepper and a um, little bit of garlic powder in here. I'm just going to let them simmer and then I'm going to mash those up. I, I found that I really like the refried beans better made this way than the ones that you buy in the can. So that's what's going on there. So the kids are still playing and acting crazy as usual. I have some pizza on top. You have what? Some pizza on top. And guess what? Hello! Okay. I'm having a special blade. I'm going to play a special blade. Oh, yeah. Is there some Legos? Yeah. Yeah. And my house, staying clean, didn't last very long, as you can see. Never does. But whatever. <laughs> All, right. All right, so once the meatballs um, were done and came out of the oven, or almost done, uh, I put a spoonful of um, salsa on them, so like paste salsa, and then I put a, put a spoonful of nacho cheese sauce on there. You can opt that and put like a little small piece of like American cheese or whatever type of cheese you want to put on there. So um, I'm going to pop them back in the oven just for a couple of minutes, no longer than five minutes, um, just to kind of... Heat the cheese up in the salsa and um, make sure they're totally done cooking. I'm pretty sure that they are, but um, I took off the broiler and I just have on the oven at 370. And I am frying up my tortillas because I knew that we would have leftover uh, cheese sauce, and I'm pretty sure the kids are going to want to dip uh, their chips. Yeah, see, they're all hollering. I'm pretty. This is hard to do one handed, I tell you. Especially left handed. Anyways, I'm pretty sure they're going to want to dip their uh, chips in the salsa. Uh, my beans are done. I have mashed those up. So, it's what they look like. Yes, they're all over the stove because I used a mixer. Amen. 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 Yes, now we can eat. Okay, so here it is. Um, I didn't put the jalapenos on top of mine, but you could put a slice of jalapeno um, on the top of yours. Um, I sh really thought Dale was going to, but he just put his, he just got a whole one and put it to the side. So I don't eat whole jalapenos. I take it like small proportions, but he's more daring that way than I am. But um, yeah, I just put a dollop of uh, sour cream on top. Oh, I almost said Cool Whip. <laughs> sour cream <laughs> on top. And then just some of the beans on my chips. What do you think? Because you've already been digging into it. Is that good? Drop your fork good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? How are the chips? They're delicious. I'm going to try that people. <laughs> 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 yeah, he threw his down a few minutes ago. So. Yeah, I cover my face too. Yeah. Oh. Alright, tell me how it is. Oh, I see your mouth full. Alright, you? Hold on, I'll ask you your opinion in a minute. Well, okay. 
Have you tried it? Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. 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 good for like dinner or good for appetizers or Stop, please. both? Both. I'm making me all this. Okay. Riley, what do you think? All right. Daniel, what do you think? <laughs> good. How is it? Question. It's good. This is our dinner. We've got some meatballs and some salsa and some chips. I don't know how it's going to come out. It's good. Try it. You thought it was going to come out bad. Okay. You need to try this, try this recipe. If you want to go to it, go to monicaholmes.com slash recipe.